I'm Morgan, Minhyo Or again. In the previous program, we have introduced the chamber with silicon molybdenum heaters. It can be seen that this type of chamber was completely composed of the insulation layer and the heating element operate independently. Today, I want to introduce our resistance wire chamber, which refractory materials and heating element are integrated. Also, an ideal choice for many heat treatment applications. For the resistance wire, we usually divide it into two different modes according to the operating temperature. When the operating temperature is below 1100 degrees, we will use HRE resistance wire. And when the customer has a higher operating temperature demand, just like the 1200 degrees, we will use the Cantal resistance wire. But in general, because the max temperature of the resistance wire is not so high, so no matter what kind of resistance wire is used, most resistance wire chambers will use the 1500 level material as the refractory layer. After talking about the materials, let's focus on the structure. Many customers told me that, based on their past experiences, they hope to be able to replace the resistance wire by themselves. My answer is no, but he chose our products in the end. Why is this? This is because we used a vacuum filter forming process. It can be easily seen that there are fibers between each gap of the embedded heating wires. After being dried, there is a supporting strength for wires to avoid the retraction while using, which makes the service life longer. And because the resistance wire is deeply embedded in the insulation layer, it is not easy to fall off or short circuit. In addition to standard products, we also provide the customized services. Taking the box chamber for an example, our standard chamber has two sides for heating, which could meet the most heat treatment requirements. However, if the customers have a higher requirements for the temperature uniformity, three size, four size, or even five size can be provided. For tubular furnaces, we adjust the specs according to the different usage of customers. Include, but not limited to the arrangement of the resistance wire, the furnace structure, and whether the undercaps are required. In fact, we not only provide the chambers for building new furnaces, but also focus on the replacement of old chambers by customers. Through the chambers parameter provided by the customers, we will redesign the chamber based on the old cavity with new technologies. Imagine your old chamber could work better by just replacing the chamber. This is our goal. The above is all the content of this program. We will continue to introduce various knowledge of the heat treatment industry in the future to you. If you're interested in our channel, please follow our video. Thanks and see you next time.